Well, well, well. Look who it is. You know I've been looking for you all day, Mr. Popular. Well, now that I have you, listen to this. I have a super secret mission for us to go on. I mean, keep quiet though, because I mean, super secret. I mean, it might be dangerous. I will let you know that. But don't worry, your bodyguard's here to take care of you. I'll keep you safe. So let's go. What do you mean you can't go? What, are you busy? Yeah, we both know you aren't busy. What, are you gonna practice your swordsmanship for the 50th time? I mean, there's nothing to do in this boring castle. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Tight suit jacket. Puffy necktie. Structured hair. And... Fancy scent. Pretty boy. Are you going on a date? Well, tell me. Who's a lucky lady? It's alright, I can take it. Petunia? Wait, wait, wait. Petunia from the ball? Wow. <laughs> you sure do know how to pick them. Are you into girls with... Personalities of rocks, or... S sorry. Sorry. I know, that was rude. My bad. She does, you know, she's really nice. So nice. I mean, beautiful golden hair, bright blue eyes with nothing behind them. <laughs> what? I'm... Jealous? <laughs> of course I'm not jealous. I wouldn't even... You're not even my type. I'm not into tight wad princes like you. What is my type? Um, well, you know, I think that that is a, that question, can, you know, let's move on. Let's, let's move on from that. Um, and the matter at hand here is, is really that, um, you know, I, I thought you weren't really into the princely duties thing, the getting married and all the normal royal stuff. I thought you were kind of not into that. Except, all of a sudden you are now. Are you under a spell? Witchcraft of any kind? Have you been hexed? It's alright, you can let me know. Let me look at your eyes. Just real quick, I just want to look at your eyes real quick. Yeah, I look normal. Wait, didn't you... Didn't you have a meeting with your mother this morning? What did she say to you? Uh-huh. Interesting. Reminded you of your duties as a prince and then begged you to have grandchildren? That's suspicious. That's really suspicious, actually. <sighs> I bet she's the one pulling the strings. I mean, what do you mean that's a normal mother thing? I, d I mean, I wouldn't know, but sounds really suspicious to me, honestly. Listen, you can go on your date with Petunia. That's fine. I mean, have fun. I don't care. But, I mean, I do want to remind you that uh, there is a cult out there, a demon cult, that is, for some reason, really obsessed with sacrificing you. Um, so if you want, you can go with me to the library to try and get some more intel, maybe do some research. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. What? You want to go with me to the library? Wow. Good choice. I knew you'd come around. <sighs> one thing though, first, um, let me just, one second. We gotta make sure that you can breathe for this, this mission. There we go, and, uh, structured hair is gonna mess with the research, I'm pretty sure. So let's fix this up. Okay, and right there. Perfect. All right, let's go get our research on. Wow, you're 
a kid when you said this was a big library. I expected nothing less, though. Of course, I haven't been here before. Do I look like a book reader to you? Do I give off a book ready vibe at all? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, soldier. Go ahead and take a break. Take a few laps around the castle. How about it? We got it from here. On whose authority? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked because the prince, you know, his royal highness, he's right here and he wants you to take a break. Go ahead and tell him. Mm-hmm, exactly. Have fun. We don't know who we can trust in this castle, so until we do, it's probably best that we uh, make sure that we're alone for this. Especially if we're going to be talking about top secret information. This is going to be a very serious research session. Very serious. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, you know, I have actually never researched anything before, so I don't really know where to start here. Um, okay. Well, you're right, start with what we know. We know that the cult has a name. What's the name of the cult? We'll just look them up. All right, yeah, you do make a good point. I mean, they are a relatively new cult. Why would they be any in any books? Okay, well, we can't look up the name of the cult, but maybe we know we know their emblem or their symbol. Yeah, I mean, you were there. It's the hourglass. Eris, you know, when she was sacrificing you, she put the hourglass on your head. Yeah, it's totally an hourglass. It, it, it was like this, there was a triangle here, and then one here, and then there was a circle that went around it like this. Are you listening? Oh, listen, there was a triangle. Okay, triangle upside down like this, okay? And then there was another triangle and it was right side up, right below it, okay? With, you know, like right on top of each other like this. And then there was a circle around it. You know what I'm saying? Hourglass, obviously. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> so, hourglass. Um... What does that symbolize? Uh, time, obviously. And eternity? Time and eternity. Um, would there be a book on that? Probably not. Okay. How about this? We look up... Okay, did, did Eris say anything about what demon or deity that she was sacrificing you to? This is it. Of course she didn't. Because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? <sighs> How do people do this? Okay, so we don't know the demon or deity. But what we could do is look up different types of deities, different types of demons, maybe fairy tales or something like that, and see if any of them have anything to do with time or infinity or if any of them have a proclivity for princes I mean they gotta be out there I'm sure there is all right let's get to it uh, let's see what we have here all right so we have a history of Tristus with the Ars Dicidium. Uh, do you speak Latin at all? I have no idea what that says. Uh, and, oh, Demons of the Abyss. Alright. <laughs> Demons of the Abyss. They're making this too easy for us, aren't they? Alright, so let's take a look here. Okay. 
Mm, contents, whatever. Okay, the abyss. It says here that there are infinite levels of the abyss. Infinity, eternity, it's the same thing, right? Okay, well, that's definitely a clue. Although, infinite levels of the abyss means infinite demons. Oh, dear God. This is a big book. I mean, <laughs> Ooh, a lot of research to go through, a lot of stuff to look at. It's fine, we got this. So, it says here that there is a difference between a demon and a devil. Interestingly enough, um, a devil is more calculating, whereas a demon is more chaotic with their evil. So, that's interesting. Does that mean that a demon maybe wouldn't have the, you know, mental capacity to be able to create a cult and look for a prince and do a whole scheme. I mean, I'm sure not all demons are dumb. Hmm. There's a blood war between demons and devils. Interesting. I don't care. Let's see. I'm just going to go through this and see if there's any demons that are named in here. Here we are. Uh, okay. Bahamut. And... Lady of Mischief. Okay. That's definitely an option there, but it doesn't say anything about really being into princes or time or anything like that. Um, I can't even pronounce half these names. You know what, actually, I think that this book would be perfect for you because I know you love reading so much that, uh, yeah, you can go ahead with this one, all right? Go ahead, take a look. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I can research. Uh, all right, what do we have here? To Opulentia and further. Hey, isn't that that one kingdom with the princess that you really liked? She was nice. She married that girl. Yeah, anyway. Um, the merging of Tristus and Valis and other historical blunders. Isn't this... Yeah, I think I remember the merger. That was... It was done really quickly and under the radar. It's almost as if someone was trying to, like, cover something up. Or... Anyway, I digress. Ah, traditional Tristus cuisine. Interesting. Pretty boy, why haven't you ever cooked for me? I haven't tried any of this. Oh, you know what? We'll get back to that one. Ah, oh, look at this. Again, they make it too easy for us. The Nine Hells of Beator. 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 Nine instead of infinite. You know, I think that I can deal with that. I mean, how many devils can there be? Okay. Mm. So there's weird symbols in here. That's definitely promising. But this is one triangle and there's a lot of symbols that or not. Uh, okay, well, I just haven't found it yet. Okay. Um, it says here again about the blood war. Um, there's an overlord of the nine hells, and the devil's name is Asmodeus. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's him. Well, you know, you're really great, pretty boy, but uh, I don't 
think the literal overlord of the nine hells is concerned with you. Just saying. <sighs> Fisto. Okay, oh, so the nine hells, let's see here. Does it list them? Um, okay, so the first circle of hell is Avernus. Okay, um, but it doesn't list any devils, really. Second level of hell is Dis. Third level is Minaris. Fourth level, Thelaglobalant. Okay. I don't understand why all these names are so crazy. Sorry, y'all. I'll research quiet. They even have pictures. No, oh. oh, that symbol's not right. It's a circle. With only actually one triangle. And then there's Oh, well. I was just saying that I found this symbol. But there's a circle, and another circle, and I mean, technically you could say this is kind of a triangle, but it's really just part of a bigger diamond, so... It's not it. Don't worry, I will find it. I feel like we're getting pretty close. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need a drink after this. I mean, if you want, we could go to Maggie's Tavern. I haven't seen her in a while, and I feel like I just really enjoy the chaos of that place, and, you know, she's always happy to see me. And she took a liking to you, too, she told me. She thinks you're great. Too good for me. I don't know what she meant by that. I think we're great friends. She's jealous. <sighs> but I do miss her. We should get a drink. Right, right, right. Back to research. No need to start thinking about alcohol in my bed. It's just a okay, all right. My bad. Sorry, do I have something on my face? You just look, you're looking at, is it, where is, is there something on my face? Right here? Is it gone? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So, I, I did want to say that I'm sorry about being rude about Petunia. It's okay if you like her. I just was a little taken aback. That's all. I mean, it's okay to like nice girls. Just because she isn't, you know, what I think your type is. It's totally fine. I think she's really nice. And... You know, if you do decide to do your princely duties, I get it, but, you know, it would be nice to go on more adventures now and again. I mean, I obviously have to keep protecting you, which is so annoying, but, you know, it makes things interesting, difficult, you know? It would be too easy if I was adventuring on my own, so, I mean... If you still want to go on adventures after getting married and stuff. I know, you haven't even gone on a date with her. I'm not saying that you will marry her. I'm just saying, if you do, that's okay. Fine. 
fine. I'll just back to look here. Find anything good? Any names you can pronounce? The Deceiver. Wow, we're so mighty. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like it though. The name kind of fits. They always have eyes in weird places. Demons have weird extra scales. Random arms. Devils, I mean. It's gonna take a while for me to realize that there's a difference there. <sighs> okay, this is getting nowhere, and none of these look anything like any sort of demon or devil that would even care to sacrifice you, and none of them have anything to do with time or eternity. There's, there's not enough to go off of. I mean, there's an infinite amount of demons. I don't think that we'll be able to find it. Is there anything else? Any other snippets that you remember? Did your, did your mother say anything odd to you that mothers normally wouldn't, in your opinion? Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. Very interesting. You know, I think that's a weird thing to say. T to tell you that if you aren't sure, to go to the study and imagine yourself on the wall of paintings next to your father. Is it a wall of past kings? Okay, so imagine yourself on the wall. Um, that's suspicious. What? I, I, you know, I, I could give her the benefit of the doubt, but I feel like you are giving her too much of the benefit of the doubt because she's your mother. And you aren't thinking, you know, she's very suspicious. You know, of course we can't go to the study. Because there might be, like, an ambush, a trap waiting for you. I mean, why else would she tell you to go there? I don't know why you were so set on going to the study now. I mean, we have plenty of things to research and study here. Okay, fine. If we go to the study, and we don't find anything, we come back here, okay? And I go in first, just in case, to protect you. Because I don't trust your mother. Just saying. Alright, let's go. Who might ambush us? Alright, no one's here. Coast is clear. You're welcome. <sighs> Alright, and it's just a study. Oh, and as you say, paintings on the wall. Yeah, really helpful. They all look very vaguely like you. Bunch of old kings. Um, well, Really glad that we stopped researching for this. Real helpful. Yeah. Although it is the first time I've seen your father. I mean, he kind of keeps to himself. I get that. He's a king. Honestly, he's kind of, kind of good looking in his prime. Don't mind if I take a closer look. That's weird. The date. On the painting? That can't be right. Well, that's over a hundred years ago. Pretty boy. Just how old is your father? 